To complete your colored pencil study, you're gonna need your colored pencil study page in your sketchbook, your set of colored pencils, a piece of the small study paper that I gave you in your folder, and a circular object. You wanna first start off by tracing your three circles onto your page. Uh, as you can see here, I'm just using a small cup to trace my circles. Uh, you can find something circular to trace. The main thing is, is that your circle needs to be at least two inches um, across. So don't choose a circular image that is too small. Uh, you might want to also sharpen all of your pencils before you get started. Um, as you can see here, I'm going to lay in a very light pressure layer of my white first. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna lightly layer in a layer of my lightest value, which is uh, in this case for the red, the pink. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to keep my pencils very sharp. I'm working in a circular direction so that I don't get these start and stop marks on my circle. And I'm gonna gradually just layer all of my colors over top of each other so that eventually I'm starting to saturate. It's gonna take some time. This is the thing with color pencils. Color pencils you need to have a lot of patience with and you need to complete all the layers. By the time I'm finished, I will probably have close to 20 layers before I am fully saturated. Uh, so as you can see, I'm starting to layer in my darker colors. Um, as I'm starting to get some of my colors darker, I'm gonna to start to avoid the areas that are my highlighted areas. Uh, and then I'm gonna keep going back and forth with my pencils until I have reached that saturation. As I'm working with my darker tones, I'm gonna to start on the outside edges to define the edge, and then I'm gonna to work towards the middle, lightening up my pressure so that I get a nice, smooth, gradual transition from those light values to the dark values. What you don't want your sphere to look like when you're finished is uh, have a striping effect. You want it to look like it's gradually fading from one value to the next, so you need to go back in with your lighter values and just very, very, very lightly blend those transitions so that you have a nice gradual transition from the lights to the darks and you don't end up with stripes. Try to avoid pressing too hard too fast. You want to start off with very light layers and then as you are getting into your darker layers and you maybe have about seven to ten layers on your circle, you can start pressing a little bit harder with your pencils to create that saturation. You're going to continue this process until you feel like your sphere matches the sphere that is in the example picture. At the end, it's up to you if you want to go ahead and add the cast shadow that is underneath the sphere.